Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. And we're outside today. We're going to get some work done. Well, I'm going to get some work done. He's going to shoot some video of me doing some work. It's usually the other way around. You're usually working in the kitchen, and That's I'm shooting right. video of you doing that. Well, I'm usually in the kitchen with Dinah. <laughs> Strumming in the old banjo. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Showing our age again. Oh. Uh, we are here because... Uh, it's hop planting season. Yeah. Yeah. Or hop splitting season. Yeah, it is. It's it's a little chilly yet. Yeah. But a couple days ago here in northwest Arkansas, it was close to 80 degrees. And will be again in a few days. That's right. And, and the day after it was 80 degrees, it snowed and sleeted. So we're all sick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my Cascade hops that have been in the ground, this will be their fourth season. Mm -hmm. They are already sprouted. I mean, they got sprouts on them about that long. Yep. So this is the time I want to divide that big old crown of hops. And uh, I want to put some over here and I want to give some to you. Yay. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to get our hands dirty and <laughs> dig in the dirt. So yeah. I'm going to hand the camera to Steve and I'm going to grab a shovel and uh, let's get to work. Step one, dig a hole. Now we're going to dig this hole a couple feet down and uh, two, three feet across and a couple feet wide. Have you, have you uh, used proper sanitation uh, <laughs> procedures? <laughs> yes, the shovel has been sanitized for our protection. So I uh, went to the home improvement store this morning and they sold me a lot of BS. <laughs> this is composted BS, uh, composted cow manure. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I mean, look at that big pile of dirt that came out of this hole, it, like it multiplied. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little manure in there and put a little dirt, put a little manure, put a little dirt, kind of mix it up in there and uh, make a mound of a couple of feet on top. And then we'll be ready to uh, go do some more work over there. Good mix. That is some dark stuff. Now are you going to plant some taters after this? Mm-hmm. some taters and mustard, don't you? You know, I would have liked to have seen an episode of Green Acres where the sling blade guy and Mr. Haney got into it. Once I sell you this wonderful sling blade, what are you going to do with it? I ain't to kill you with it. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. Well, now we got our uh, old dog over there, and we got our good dirt all mixed up. Now we got to split our hops here, our hop crown. This has been in the, this is the fourth year that this has been in here, so. That thing is going to be huge. So, and it's already sprouted. So basically what I'm going to do is just chop this thing in half, I think. Yeah. What the heck? Go for it. All right, here we go. This is how we got rid of that goiter I had. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Oi! Man, I'm going to need a hatchet. A hatchet, though. Man, I might actually need a hatchet. That is woody. Oops, sorry. <laughs> well, the shovel wasn't hacking it, literally, so I'm going with one of these. What is this, a pickaxe? Yeah. All right, here we go. Now, make a heck of a blooper tape if the, if the top came off and just hurtled toward you. All right, here we go. Oh, I missed. And hops are really hardy, so they're really kind of hard to kill. He said as he murdered his yeah. prize cascades. Look at that. Look at the back of that. That's a monster. Sure hope this works. Now, there we go. I 
and you want to leave the crown exposed? Well, actually, I think I'm going to cover it up a little bit. Yeah. What you think? I do. Protect it yep. a little bit. I'm shocked because we are going to get some more cold weather. Yeah. And I'm going to put some more manure or some more dirt on it. Now, hops like to explore and go out and seek other places, kind of like bamboo. So if you don't corral them, they'll take over your yard. So I'm gonna put some edging around to keep the grass out and the hops in. Well, there you go. That was easy for me. Yeah. <laughs> I pitied you. Yeah, now, uh, there, you know, there may be a better way to do that, but I'm not sure what it is. And these, these hops are really hardy. In fact, I tell the story all the time of the, the hop plant that was about there, where yeah. we put the one today. There was an ornamental hop. I don't know what variety it was, but my wife bought it from a, a plant catalog, seed catalog. And uh, the thing grew like crazy, was in the ground for like three years. And I got tired of it because it was taken over the place, didn't have any cones on it. So yeah. I dug it up and threw it in the compost heap and it's very happy there today. <laughs> I had the same same experience with pumpkins. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I had same story. So just pumpkins. Hard to get rid of. Hard to get rid of. Well, there you go. So uh, I hope that our ha I hope that the the new hops over here do well. I hope that your hops do well. I'm sure they will. And we will give you a report as time goes on. I'm looking forward to a hop thick environment at my house. Excellent. Happy brewing. Happy brewing. See ya. Come and visit us on the web. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of both our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs, Introduction to Extract Home Brewing, Stepping into All Grain, Low-Tech Lagering and Decoction Mashing, and our latest edition, Introduction to Wine Kits. And for a limited time, you can find our 2009 Brewer's Logbook where you can schedule and track the details of up to 50 batches of beer. Drop us a line, we'd love to hear from you. Write to james at basicbrewing.com, steve at basicbrewing.com, or just use the contact form on basicbrewing.com. What do you think about that? I think it was great. <laughs>